You know, it's amazing that I look on Facebook, right? <sighs> Sorry. I look on Facebook and um, I see people denying once saved, always saved. And they say it's a lie and it will send you to hell because they think you can live the way you want and sit on you want. That's what that means, which that's not true because let's face it, we all know. Excuse me. Sorry about that. We all know that once they've always saved is basically Jesus Christ died for our sins. Sorry about that. And um, when people say that once they've always saved cause you to sin as a lie and you can lose your salvation and all that and nonsense they don't understand the gospel they deny Christ they deny the blood of Christ they deny everything that represents what Jesus Christ did on the cross which is sad because when you reject the gospel in that matter and saying that once they've always said it's a lie and thinking that it won't save you to the uttermost knowing that he's the rock of our salvation. He is the anchor of our salvation. He is the the way, the truth, and the life. Then, basically, you should reconsider what are you really believing in. Are you believing in yourself? Are you believing some other doctrine that someone told you? Or are you just making Christ your secondary side piece and you just making the law actually, you know, you're married to it. You're basically married to the law. And it's very concerning. It's very concerning because people, you have to understand, this is serious. <laughs> when you reject Christ, Basically, he just he he knows that you reject him, and he wants you to still to repent and trust in him. But when you don't do that, in the moment you die, or the moment you, you know, I said we all believers go with the Lord in the sky. Basically, I'm talking about the rapture, of course, and most people don't believe that. But when we go into heaven with the Lord. And you're left behind. And you're going to be enduring to this Antichrist utopia. You're going to go through some lot of things that you really don't want to go through. You think life sucks now, it's going to suck even more. And when, you, when it comes to the realization, when you finally understand that we were telling you the truth about the true gospel, which is Jesus Christ then you're going to come to the realization that we were telling the truth the whole time. And you was left behind. And some of them probably, ain't going, probably still going to be in denial about it. And some of them probably going to be taking the mark of the beast. Even though they knew, even though we were telling the truth the whole time, they probably will take the mark of the beast because they were so much in unbelief. They don't want to um, think that is true. So that's why they lean on thinking that we all we want to do is sin, have a sin party. We can do what we want. No, because that's the case. We be focused on ourselves like y'all do, who deny once they've always saved and thinking it's all about us. But no, we want to focus on what Jesus Christ did on the cross. We focus on him. He loves us that much that he took, that He sacrificed his life, shed his blood on the cross for us to wipe our sins away with his blood. Because he loves us. That's why we love him, because he loves us. So we're not focusing on ourselves. We focus on him. But... Oh no, we talk about Christ and what he done and basically if we talk about eternal security and 
Basically, we're talking about the gospel of grace. Oh, it's all about sin, 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 sin. That's all y'all think about is sin. It's not about sin. It's about what Jesus Christ did for us when it comes to sin. He took care of it at the cross. Now, do we still sin as saints? Yes. I explained this in many videos, who we are in Christ. And if you want to look back at those, you can. I explained that, who we are in Christ. Yes, we still sin as saints, but not as sinners. We're no longer sinners no more. We're saints. But many people don't understand that. So, like, go look back at my videos. They'll explain everything about that. But... We're talking about people who deny once saved, always saved because they think it's a license to sin or they think you can lose your salvation. They think you can live the way you want to live or something like that, which is ridiculous because we cannot live the way we want to live if they think it involves our own salvation. So, that would be right if, if if we had to maintain our own salvation. That's what I'm getting at here. If it was up to us to maintain our own salvation by basically keeping the law, all the commandments, and everything like that, yes, we could not live the way we want to live. We had to be perfect. We had to be 100% perfect in our walk to maintain our salvation. But guess what? It's not up to us to maintain our salvation. It was up to it's up to God. It's up to Christ. He's the one that actually maintains our salvation. He's the one that actually did all the work to maintain our salvation. How we how's he do how's he do that? How does he do that for us? Well, God sent his son in the likeness of sinful flesh. And he suffered and he died and he shed his blood on the cross and he resurrected. Which basically what we did when we trusted him. Guess what? We died with him. We, we was buried with him. And we rose again with him in a newness of light. Means we are new creatures in Christ. So we're dead to sin and alive to God. But most people don't believe that because they think they got to save themselves. They think they got to be their own savior. They think works is the only way to, for them to, to maintain their salvation. I'll put it this way. When a person hears, when you give the person the gospel, they rather go into a large room where most people think their works is going to matter. But we go to a narrow room where, where we actually walk through is where the truth is of the gospel is at. Not many people go through there, but they go through that large room. Why? Because they can store their works up in there. They can boast about their works. They can show, look, Lord, look what I've done. Look how many works I've done. I stopped, I stopped sinning. I repented my sins. I confessed them. I go to church every day. I've been a good little boy, good little girl. I've done all this for you. Look what I've done. You know what the problem is? It's all about them. Not about, not about what Jesus Christ did for them. They make it all about them. And this verse right here, I'm showing you right now, they don't even understand it. I can show you other verses, but they still will deny that Christ can keep us saved. And Ephesians 1, 13 says, In whom ye also trusted after that ye heard the word of truth, the gospel of your salvation, in whom also after that ye believe, ye were sealed with the Holy Spirit of promise, 
which is the earnest of our inheritance until the redemption purchase a possession into the praise of his glory. Of his glory, not our glory. They got nothing to do with us. He saves us. He seals us. We can't seal, seal ourselves by our works. He can, we can't seal ourselves by keeping the law. We can't seal ourselves at all, period, by our own obedience or efforts. It's all about Christ. We can't make it about us. And that's the problem. I can't believe I'd be still seeing these kind of posts on Facebook and saying that if you believe once saved, always saved, then you're going to hell because you think you can live the way you want to live. These people don't know God's grace whatsoever. They don't even understand grace. And they still think that God still has the Old Testament mentality. No, like, Jesus Christ took care of that on the cross. If you have to, under, you have to understand this, like, someone had to die for the Old Covenant. It was, either it was Israel or Christ. Well, I'll put it that way. If it was everybody else in the world or Christ. Someone had to take the wrath for their sins. And guess what? Jesus Christ took the wrath for our sins. He took the punishment for our sins. He took the punishment, the chastisement, everything else you can think of. He took, the, he took everything for our sins. And still... <laughs> Y'all still don't believe it. He took everything on the cross for us. He was perfect. He did no sin. But he became sin for us. So we could be made righteous in him. It was his righteousness that make us righteous because of him. We can't be not, we can we cannot be righteous by any form of works. So I just want to make that clear. And I'm sick and tired of these people denying, once they always say, eternal security and thinking it's a joke, thinking it's a lie, thinking it's you know, from the devil. The devil would not even mention once saved, always saved. He don't want you to be once saved, always saved. He wants you to think that it's up to you to save yourself. That wouldn't even make any sense. Why would the, why would the devil would even use once saved, always saved? He'd probably make you think that it's, it's from, uh, from him. He'd probably make you think it make you want to send all you want to, yeah, he'll use that. That mentality. And and not make you trust in Christ because of that. He's very good of lying. And, be, and guess what? Y'all bought that lie. Y'all bought that lie. Y'all bought, bought that lie. Hook, line, and sinker. Guess what? He baited y'all and y'all took the bait. So, you need to ask yourselves, who you rather trust, yourself or Christ? Jesus Christ did it all. It has nothing to do with me, you or anybody else. It's all him. Always been about him. So, enjoy the day, the rest of your day, you guys. I just want to get this out. Excuse me for I've been uh, kind of rambling a little bit. But I had to get this out because I'm so sick of tired and tired of seeing this on social media, especially on YouTube. It's getting out of hand. But if they believe that 
eternal security is from the works of the devil. Or they think they make you want to sin too much. They don't understand the gospel then. Simple as that. They don't understand the gospel. Take care, guys.